Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Baldur's Gate 2 Throne of Ball. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we commend a spectral blurriness of blurriness, and uh, we get out of here into... I don't really know where. This room is empty, save for a small desk of fine oak in the corner. Ooh, my character knows about his woods. Hmm. There is uh, nothing on the top of the desk, but there is a single small drawer which draws your attention. Okay. Through mental commands, you instruct the spirit warrior to approach the desk and open the drawer. The desk is coated with a powerful contact poison. Fortunately, the hardy constitution of the spirit warrior's body allows you to shrug off the effects of the deadly toxin. Inside the desk are a pair of bracers. You strap them on and feel an instant increase in the combat skills of your spirit's warrior's body. Awesome! Let's go north. Continue. Yes, uh, we are in the last level of the Watcher's Keep and we're trying to get the last key. So, oh, we are now attacked by a hobgoblin. A rabbit, oh, it's a gibber, gibberling. A rabbit gibberling rushes from the shadows to attack you. Its small body, a mere blur of fur and teeth. It moves with such furious speed that retreat is not an option. Oh, but I, uh, but killing him is. I'm really very good at killing gi gibberlings. Although they are more powerful than hobgoblins, I think. Um, but yeah, we're trying to get the last key so we can open the last seal so we can kill the imprisoned one and end the, the need for this prison once and for all. Let's search the room. A search reveals nothing of interest. Let's go west. 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 Let's go west and see what this is all about. Nobody attacks me. You sense an ominous presence, presence beyond the archway to the west and an iron chest stands against the north wall. Uh, let's examine the room first. You carefully sift through the thick layer of dust on the floor, but apart from the chest and the ornate door, there is nothing else in this room. Okay, let's examine the chest, though. The chest is too heavy for the spirit warrior to lift. The iron construction makes it impossible to break into, and the lead is locked. Without a key, there is no hope of opening this chest. Well, let's go through the ominous doorway. As you approach the door, a disembodied voice fills the chamber. The crypt beyond the waits. Once the threshold is crossed, there is no return. Did you get that? Uh, yeah, I did. Oh boy, why'd you have to be disembodied? Anyway, let's pass through the arch and enter. I don't have a key for this. Might have been the dog, actually. Hmm. Let's go east again. There was a dog last episode. I wonder if he attacks me again. But yeah, last episode, I, I, I just fled from the dog because I saw no need to attack the dog. But uh, if he has a key in his mouth or something like that, as is usually a trope in video games, in, 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 in uh, RPGs, really. Uh, but yeah, if he has something on his, on his mouth, then uh, maybe that's what we need. Let's go east from here, and that's where the dog attacked, I think. And uh, hopefully he attacks again. Let's see what happens. Yes, he does! Awesome! Attack the war dog! No! Okay, now we need a different way of handling that dog, because that dog is nasty. I hope I can find the key, but let's just, just go do this again. So this time, I, this time around, I minimized the amount of damage I took. I didn't drink from the potion and all that sort of stuff. I didn't run away from this dog. I can use the one of magic missiles. I don't think that is the way of doing this, though. Could it be? No. He's not killing me, so I think this is good. Yes, doggy, I am killing you now. Ouch. Yeah. And he's dead. Okay, get me a key. You step over the blood-soaked corpse of the, can the can canine who attacked you early. Uh, earlier, the room smells of wet dog. You find an iron key and a blue potion with spirit warrior, uh, which the spirit warrior immediately quaffs. Fortunately, the potion heals your wound somewhat, and you tuck the iron key into your belt. See, what did I tell you? What did I tell you is the dog all along? Let's go west and continue our adventure. Mm-hmm. Lovely. So I have explored all these rooms already, except for the rooms on the upper row. Uh, so go over here. Uh, didn't drink from the potion, because there's no need to. Uh, yeah, so... And go east from here. And I probably would have died against whoever is behind that that uh, 
that uh, door. So I came here to get the uh, bracers as well, so that's why I was doing a little bit more damage as well uh, than I would have otherwise. I just destroyed that, that uh, goblin that attacked us uh, last episode. I absolutely destroyed him. We got another one over here. Hello, little guy. Uh, use the scroll with a gibberling picture on it. Oh, what? I didn't know we had gotten one of these. Uh, what exactly was that? I kn uh, you raffle the corpse of the goblin and conduct a careful search of the entire room. Yes, but there's nothing. What picture did you get? Use the scroll with a gibberling picture on it. No, this... Uh, sure. He just runs. Okay. Search the room. There's nothing. Let's go west. Okay, so now I'll be able to open that thing. I think the Wand of Magic Missiles will be usable uh, on here, hopefully. Let's uh, search the room first, examine the chest. Using the iron key you found earlier, you unlock the lid on the, of the chest. Inside uh, is a blue potion. Instinctively, the body of the spirit warrior seizes the potion and drinks it down, causing your wounds to heal greatly. Okay, fantastic. So now I'm fully healed and everything is going to be fine. So let's go through the ominous one, pass through, and uh, see what happens. It was kind of a letdown, to be honest, but I, I was expecting, like, a magical thing of magicness. The smell of ancient death permeates this room. Standing upright against the far wall is a stone dry, uh, stone crypt with an archway leading into darkness. Carved over the archway is a hand with a single unblinking eye gazing out from the palm, the symbol of Helm. From within the darkness of the crypt comes the sound of slowly shuffling feet. The sight of a desiccated corpse wrapped tightly in bandages emerging from the crypt comes as no great surprise. You sense this is the final confrontation of the sp uh, for the spirit, uh, spirit warrior and realize the retreat is not an option. So I use the, the magic missile thing and then I attack it and I think this is the best course of action. He's not even hitting me. He's down. As the mummy falls... The symbol of Helm erupts with a blinding light. You feel this body of the spirit warrior dissolve, and your life force rushes back to your true body. As your life force is made whole, the strange force immobilizing your own body releases you. You notice a large key in your possession that was not there before. Ugh. How? What? Why, why didn't you say in my hands? Why does it have to be in my possession? Whatever. Let's go to the center of this place. And uh, sleep a little bit, maybe. No, just to, you know, freshen up. Uh, we have all the keys required. Uh, we have a few level ups ready. Well, just two level ups ready. Let's uh, save. Or rest. Right there. Let's level her up. She's now a mage level 22. And she gains one level 6, one level 9. Very nice. One mi uh, minus one to taco. Not bad at all. And uh, her lore is... Well, my lore is really what counts. Uh, she gets... Let's see. Improve the alacrity. Nope. Uh, summon Planetar. I will go with that. I went with Summon Dark Planetar for me uh, on the forgotten level up in between episodes that I did a few episodes ago. Okay, so level 6, what does she get? She gets uh, Improved Haste would be nice. She has it already. Power Word Silence. I never use that, but I mean, it, it, it can be good, I suppose. Mislead. I never use this thing, but this thing is really, really, really powerful, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, I should have slept after, but it doesn't matter. There's no downside to sleeping. And let's see what I get. Uh, so Will of the Banshee is apparently totally pointless because there's a save against that. <laughs> I just didn't say, didn't see that for some reason. I, I should have known. Um, let's see. Meteor Swarm is too dangerous. Improved alacrity is pretty good. Is pretty good. I could, oh, chain contingency. Of course, we need this. Of course. With all the sleepage and all that, I mean, we might as well. As for you, mister, let's see what you level up to. A level 29 cleric. Oh my god, he's so high level. <laughs> it's so high level, it's incredible. Oh boy. Uh, okay, so level 29 indeed. And he's not even, he's even sharing his experience with with a fighter. So that's, he could, he, the clerics are just incredible. Uh, and that's his last ability. Can't get any more. Can't get any more. I'm not even sure what the game is going to do. Just, he's max, just maxed out of out of his mind uh okay so do we oh we have extra things up here okay what am i gonna do sun ray uh all creatures within the area take a 3d6 points of damage and must save versus spell or be blinded for one turn undead are hit uh take undead take more damage basically the sun ray is pretty good but why am i using the uh oh the glove of blades firestorm 
Mm, another earthquake would be nice. Let's just have multiples of those. And I think that's uh, gonna turn out all right. It's all gonna be fine with me. Because now, we're gonna open the seal. I think. Let's save. The soundtrack is different. Why is it different? Please don't give me weird soundtracks. And let me just save over here because we are gonna do this. And then we're probably gonna need to reload because we're not prepared for this battle. The wheel opens the final seal but cannot be turned until all three keys are used to unlock the seal. Okay. We're gaining experience. And another one, I assume. Yes. You place the key into the lock, click again to turn the key, and unleash whatever guardians await you. Oh! So there's guardians for each one of these. Okay, so the keys are all in. Uh, and now there's guardians. Sure. I mean, I didn't know what to expect, really, but... The key turns easily. This lock is now open. And we have... Ferumak Rilmani Mages, by the looks of things. At least that guy looks like it. So I'm gonna try and get Minsk over here and Saravak over there and we got... Oh, that's a mage. Okay, this... I don't really know how this is gonna go. Uh, prismatic arc or whatever. Th time stop. I hate that color. Uh, okay. Well, I like blue, but that one is just too rich for me. It's... Mm, oh, boy. Oh, he's casting fear. Yeah, I was not prepared. Whoa! Good for you, guys. Good for you. Seriously. You know what I can do with you? Do you know what I can do with you? You guys don't know what I can do with you. These guys are crazy. They have no idea what's gonna happen to them. They have no idea. It's gonna be awesome. Okay. So, yeah. What is gonna happen to them is chain contingency to the face. So, I'm just gonna take a bunch of these, and uh, that's gonna be on uh, target. Myself, last hit by nearest enemy. That's the one. See enemy, and that is, that's that. And then you'll see. And then you'll see. Nearest enemy. Same thing up here. Got a bunch of those. And that's on uh, see enemy. Good. Okay. So, let's do this. They're casting it already. Okay, guys, get out of there, because we're out of horrid wildings. Get, just, yeah, let them cast the time stop. Just fall back. Oh, the time stop is ca cast. I don't see them, though, so they might be wasting their spells. They didn't take any damage, though. Hmm, that's interesting. I got, er I got earthquakes coming from them. Okay, so, it's totally fine. It's, it's a shame that these guys are a little bit slowed. But then again, we didn't prepare for this battle, so it's totally fine. Okay, what is that? That's fear, most likely. Can he close? No, nope, you can't. Go, go on in. Okay, we saved or something. The spell effects. Oh, these guys are idiots. Get him, get him. Okay, that was a... Uh, first things first, protect against fear. Secondly, haste. Right there. Uh, yeah. Uh, then we have AoEs coming our way. Does she cast that, though? I think she did. Okay. Let's get, go get going. Kill that guy over there. Yeah, you, you should actually get out of there, because that... Yeah, the fear is not going to work. Ooh, we got turned. She got turned. Okay, so she's dead, or he's dead, or whatever that is. Uh, this thing is also hitting them, which is kind of weird, but she can drink that, and I can move her away from there, and actually cast a dispel uh, on... Does she have one? She does not. So she's gonna t turn to this and just attack that uh, that dude over there because that seems to be a little bit problematic. And I'm gonna bring uh, you out of here. Don't you have vocalize automatically or something, or is that long gone? Well, it's got vocalize, but well, it's got vocalize right there. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so now I, all I need is a uh, combat magic remove magic right there on her, so she shut shuts up. Ooh, Iron Man just exploded. What happened? Okay, well, it's all good. Not a problem. Just not a problem at all. They don't like they, they don't like me. I don't like them either. It's totally fine. Just totally, totally yes. fine. The only thing I need to do here... Uh, project images. Yep. Yes, indeed. So we can cast a few nasty spells on their way, especially the mages. So let's go with the project image. Right there. And uh, over here, right there. Okay, so you come over there. And you come over there. Next up, uh, you can cast this. And you can cast uh, protection from evil. Because these guys, well, they might not be evil, but... 
Mm, yeah, go for it nonetheless. Uh, Minsk, you have... You can go with that, because that's always good to have. Uh, and uh, we're going to get them... Um, they're going to cast Improved Alacrity very, very soon. But, yeah, they're casting their spells already. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we just do this. So it turns out that Horrid Wilting didn't really work. And I'm out of here. Okay, now they cast their... Uh, what is that being cast over there? Why, why do we have... Wait, what? What? I... What is that back there? Are we getting summons back here as well? Okay, so you get out of there. Just don't don't be there. No, we're not. They got a time stop. Okay, it's totally fine. Totally acceptable. Because the mages are going down fast. As soon as I breach them and remove some of their uh, magic resistance, they, they don't stand a chance. It's not a problem. Uh, but my idea actually is to uh, to send the uh, send these guys up there. Uh, let's see. You are gonna cast the earthquakes in here. Those things are really nasty. And I'm gonna send you up to mess with this guy. Can you please go? Okay, the AI is on. That should be totally fine, actually. Let's keep an eye out when these guys cast their improved alacrity. I am ready to act. Okay, so can you act again? Because the improved alacrity might be going to waste right now. Ah, oh, yeah, you're taking focus. damage. He's taking damage. Get back. Okay, get back. Get back. Let them take the damage. Okay, so did they cast... Did they cast the improved alacrity already? I think they did. Okay, so time stop with you. And bring you up there. And I'm going to time stop with you as well. It's, of course, going to take a little while longer. Yeah. Kind of a waste, but... Whatever. We can see things, hopefully. Can we? Not really. How is he taking damage? Ugh. Okay. Um, so what am I going to need here? I'm going to need some summons. Do we have any any summon? Any? Ooh, we do have more kindness. Fast, please. Thank you. So these guys are going to do their good job. Yeah, my alacrity is totally gone. Yeah, they can't see. I forgot that. Only oh, only the... Uh, only this th they they might not have it the the thing that simulacrum that only that actually lets you see things. Um, so that's nice. I got a couple of summons right there. What do I have over here? Oh, for a few of these. Let's send them over in there. That's not gonna go too well for him. I don't really understand how he's taking damage damage, but sure. Okay. Uh, he missed his spell. Yeah, casting failure. He takes damage. Okay, not a problem. I got something here for you. Uh, do I have any summon Nishru or something like that? Because those guys are not... Yeah, the Simulacrum right there. Uh, those guys are really nice. Let's go with the sword. See what I can do there. And that's that. And uh, let's get one of these in there. Uh-huh. Yeah, this guy's probably going to die pretty soon. Okay. That's another summon right there. And... I can do... What can I do? Skull Traps! Oh, yeah, they're fantastic. Go for it. Although they are magic resistance, so they're probably not going to work. But go for it nonetheless. Go for that. That's what going to be what I'm going to focus on with Marcus. Okay. Marcus, get back here. He's taking a little bit of damage. Not really, but just taking spells from those guys. These spells and stuff like that, because they're idiots. Uh, and uh, these guys are moving in. Yeah. Okay, so seems like... Seems like yeah. it's now time to go for proper these spells and all that. Okay. I think the Skeletal Warrior might have just killed somebody. Okay, so you need... You need a Spell Breach. Spell Breach over there. And you need... Not Spell Breach, whatever. Whatever the name of that is. Uh, and you need... Oh, we need this very, very fast. So nobody gets turned. Okay, so that's perfectly acceptable. Going much better. Can you have... He's not taking. He's not resisting the damage, so let's go for that. Minsk, you're gonna need to shut up about your wounds. Anybody got time for that? And can you not attack? Is she not attacking? Why is she not attacking? I don't really understand that. But yeah, I think this guy's gone. Okay. And there we go. A nasty battle. Sure. Easy, as I said. Very, very easy. Not a problem whatsoever. And uh, that's that. That's a mage, though. I need to kill you. Fast. I got something here for you. Do you like this? It's, these are fantastic to just interrupt their stuff, but you know, unfortunately, he's uh, he, he he's got magic resistance. Oh, they saw through us. What do you wish? I wish you to destroy that guy, please, fast. 
There we go. See, we can do this. We can do this. And we also got a thing over here. Even though I have no... Ooh, it's a club. It does look like a club, but what kind of club is that? Is it one for the gentleman sort of club? Or is it more of a, you know, ball sort of, you know... I don't know. It's throwing a ball. You never know. 20% uh, chance per hit. Oh. 20% uh, chance per hit. Uh, the target will take 10 points of fire damage. 7% per hit that... Uh, the fireball will automatically detonate. So, it's a terrible thing. A terrible item, I should say. Not really a terrible thing. A terrible item. Uh, that was okay. We did spend a bunch of our spells, but those mages were really the problem. I think I can handle that in a different way from now on. Let's save the game there. I don't know what that little bit over there is. Uh, let's turn the next key. N nobody leveled up? No, by the looks of it. Okay. One single summon. Oh! You guys don't even know what you're messing with. You ha you guys have no idea. Well, they might have some idea. Ooh, that's a nasty one. Ouch. Okay, go away, guys. I got something here for you. I got something called... Uh, actually, do I have Bolt of Glory? Is that thing against uh, very good against undead? Well, kind of good against undead. Although, that's not what I want, is it? I think there's another one over here. What is that? Blade Barrier. Uh, no, go, go with the bolt of... No, 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 not that. There's another one to the right. False Dawn. There are no saving throw. It just takes... They take damage immediately. So, yeah, let's do that. If you can, of course. See if that happens. They're casting their spells. Uh, so... What happened? Hmm... Did he become... Turn on the AI, see what... What? I find this wimpy. It's a terrible... It's it's a terrible challenge. Let's just go over here. Not not a... Not like a... Not, not like an insurmountable challenge. Like, in a it's it's a puny challenge. I'm gonna bring everybody on here and they're gonna see what, what bites. They're gonna Nature see. Servant? They're okay. gonna feel it in their skin and in their... Pants. Okay, so I'm gonna go with your iron skins right there. And I'm gonna get you to cast the defensive harmony because those are nice. Uh, AI's on, so that's gonna be good. I'm gonna turn that, and we're gonna focus on that guy, and uh, the skulls are not gonna be an issue. I think. Maybe. Okay, so, uh, let's kill you, hopefully. Okay, so he's got protection. Totally fine. Uh, we have another... Yeah, they, they cast spells, don't they? Okay, let's cast that over there. Fast, please. And uh, let's get you a uh, spell pierce. No, I don't really need that. Let's just get another pierce, another uh, breach right there. So he starts taking damage pretty soon. Oh, yeah, he's taking damage, alright. Uh, ish. Is he? He should be. Well, he is, but... Uh... Ah, yeah, sure. Drink a little bit. It's all fine. AI's on, so... Ooh, she's taking quite a lot of damage. I'm gonna fall back with her. And you as well. Is he dead yet? I know he's nearly dead, but... Can you take another potion? Okay, so he's dead now. Everybody come back. Get out of that smoky, nasty stuff. I don't even know what that is. Uh, and, uh, seems like... It's going really badly. Uh, my strategy might have been a terrible strategy. Probably was. Let's bring you over here. Okay. Hey, everybody, get out of there. Everybody, because that is a nasty, nasty place to be in. Okay, so these guys casting a spell. Okay, I think he got interrupted. He definitely got interrupted. Okay, we need speedy assistance. Soon, or I shall not be able to fight on. The hero just died. Those guys blow up when they die? Sure. Um. Well, apparently they blow up when they die. Let's get our heals on. Or it could be the meteoric strikes that are coming in. That as well. That's fine. That's not a problem. Let's get you healed up. What? You point wish. Shut up. Let's get you healed up. Right there. And then you get this over there. Minsk is going to continue trying to heal Marcus. So, yeah, it's... Mm, it's still easy. So much more, much easier than the terrible trouble I've had so far in the game. Uh, but that's because I, I I know how to play a little bit better than I did. So let's see. I am gonna go uh, with the race dead on her. Man, this thing lasts forever. There it is. There's still more of them, mind you. The combat is not done. Oh no no no. Oh, it's a rose. Look at that as she gets back onto her feet. Uh, there's her loot over there. I'm pretty sure that she is uh, gonna be a little bit down. No, she's actually quite good in terms of 
just the uh, stats and all that. So pick up all of this stuff and go through the same motions as before. We all know how this goes. So it's no big deal. That's the Nymph Cloak right there. The thing that got me my... Uh, it's the only thing, apparently, that got me my chaotic evil uh, repertoire. Not really repertoire. I don't even know... don't really know what it, what to call it. But we really didn't do a good enough job of healing people. So that well, that she died because of that. That was pr pretty much the end of it, really. Okay, so let's finish the job that we started. Save the game before we do that, because... There it is, that flaming skull that farts terrible things. And there we go. Okay, that's the one. Yeah, I was gonna say, run away, but no. Don't, 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 yeah, don't touch that. There might be more, but yeah, there it is. Go for it. In general, fire protection would work really well over here. There we go, fantastic. Will require healing you will. To be of use to the you will, but you won't right now, because we're out of time for the day. So what I could do, and probably don't really need to, but I will do that nonetheless, because we're going to sleep in between episodes. Uh, no, actually, not in between episodes. Let's just see what that is in this very episode. And then we'll sleep in between episodes. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what, what I got from the terrible mage that died very, very fast. I got a sling that looks like a very nice sling, and a quarterstaff that does look like a nice quarterstaff, but it is unfortunately a, s a plus two staff. 50% chance of poisoning opponents with every su successful attack that does two hit points uh, per round, or two rounds, uh, or oh, for two rounds, two hit points per second, Unt unless that, oh, it's a terrible, it's a terrible thing, it's, it's really bad. It is really... I'm gonna keep it over there because it looks interesting. This thing is Erin Sling plus 4. Cre can create 5 plus 4 bullets once per day. And it does plus 4 uh, damage and plus 4 taco. So it is nice. This thing over here, on the contrary, is not. Uh, this thing over here is a plus 3. So... Mm, and this is a plus 5. A very nice plus 5. So I'm gonna use that over there, and this goes over here, and I'm gonna keep my special plus three over here, because I definitely will never use that, uh, because I'd rather be casting spells. So with that, I am Colonel RPG, and this has been, well, only the second seal in the three seal set that we have over here. This has been very, very combat heavy, but what, what are you expecting, really? This is like the dungeon introduced by the expansion, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.